Elon Musk wants to use Starlink's financial success to develop more advanced rockets and spaceships. He says that we believe we can use the revenue from Starlink to fund Starship, which will pave the way for a Martian colony. Starlink has jumped from 250 satellites in orbit to over 1,000 in about a year's time. SpaceX has also transformed their building process and can now manufacture 120 satellites per month, something that has never been seen before in the satellite industry. And there is some serious competition, too. Starlink rivals include OneWeb, backed by Airbus and Richard Branson. The company filed for bankruptcy in 2020, but have just secured $1.4 billion in new funding. Another rival is Kuiper, which is owned by Amazon and plans to launch 3,200 satellites over the next decade. And then there are rumors that Apple is working on a top-secret satellite project which could be rolled out within five years. The Starlink service is still in beta mode. In October 2020, SpaceX launched the Starlink Better Than Nothing beta trial service. It now has over 10,000 users in the US, Canada, and the UK, and will expand to Australia and New Zealand next. There are also plans for add-ons to the service, such as a 24-hour backup battery pack for emergencies, natural disasters, and blackouts. The setup cost for Starlink already includes a smart tripod that moves and tracks the satellite signals. The dish even melts any snow that gets on it. What other smart add-ons could be developed for Starlink? Once the system is fully operational, Musk expects Starlink to generate $30 to $50 billion in annual revenue. Musk anticipates reaching this goal by 2025, when the service has reached 40 million subscribers. By 2025, Musk also plans for Starlink to generate 10 times more revenue than SpaceX's launch business. All of these big hopes for Starlink have gotten investors asking if it could become the next Elon on Musk's stock. Musk has tweeted, we will probably IPO Starlink. And it is not just Elon Musk. SpaceX's president, Gwynne Shotwell, also told investors that Starlink is the right kind of business to spin out and make public. Musk has tweeted that it will only happen several years in the future when revenue growth is smooth and predictable. This is because the public market does not like erratic cash flow. Elon Musk has repeated the intention of making Starlink its own stock and listed company. But he has also made it clear that the company's number one priority is to launch enough satellites to provide global internet coverage. This is something that takes a lot of time and money before seeing a return, something which markets and investors do not like. To make Starlink work, Musk has estimated costs of around $10 billion. Taking Starlink public mirrors Elon Musk's cautious attitude of taking SpaceX itself public, too. Elon wrote to the whole company explaining he is hesitant to list SpaceX on the stock market too soon, especially not before the Mars transport system is in place, which is another project that will take a lot of time and money to develop before seeing any returns. Governments across the world have already recognized the potential of Starlink. Starlink. The FCC announced that it has awarded Elon Musk $855 million, believing the project can bring quality internet service to rural America. And the Pentagon has also awarded a $28.7 million contract to SpaceX and Starlink. Over 700,000 people in the U.S. have already expressed interest in the service. Industry insiders predict Starlink could need around three years and three million subscribers to cover its costs. Musk himself said that SpaceX needs to pass through a deep chasm of negative cash flow over the next year or so to make Starlink financially viable. Musk has said that Starlink's fast-growing constellation of satellites will double internet speeds later this year, delivering around 300 megabytes per second. Musk also plans to have global coverage in the next year. Who will benefit the most from Elon Musk's internet system? It will be people living in low to medium populated places. Membership numbers will be strong in remote and rural areas. The service the service has already been used by emergency responders in Washington state during wildfires. It also provided temporary internet service, helping the residents rebuild their community. Starlink is also being used by remote and rural groups, such as the Hawk Tribe of Western Washington. In 2020, Starlinks were installed at the tribe's administrative center and at 20 private homes, giving residents of the tribe a fast and reliable internet service. Starlink has also been granted a license to operate in Canada, where around Around 40% of the population live in rural areas without access to high-speed internet. 
And this same Constellation Internet system can be used to create a communications network for Mars, for when Elon Musk begins building the Martian colony. He has said that only a few satellites, around four to seven, will be needed, as the base will be located in mostly one area, making Starlink another part of his grand venture to colonize Mars. On the next episode of the Grand Venture Society, we take a look inside the Starship factory and see how the spacecraft is being made. Hit the subscribe and thumbs up buttons to not miss a video.